Aloha. My name is Kevin Kimball. I'm an accounting professor at Brigham Young University, Hawaii. The purpose of this video is to help students understand how to create a fixed principal payment amortization schedule. Unlike a normal mortgage amortization schedule where the payment is fixed, this one is a fixed principal. So the principal remains the same over the life of the loan. The principal reduction amount remains the same over the life of the loan. It's the interest portion that tends to fluctuate. When you complete this fixed principal amortization tutorial, you should have a schedule that looks very much like this. It's titled at the top, Fixed Principal Amortization Schedule, the Prepared By, Prepared On information, and the Purpose. Down in the data section, you'll notice we have some highlighted cells that indicate the variables that the user will be expected to input. The white cells are mathematical computations. When I hit F2, it shows the math uh, being involved. Uh, so the user will not be inputting values into the white cells, only into these green cells. And uh, let's say I change the interest rate to 9%, uh, the information would then update in the report section down below. So you watch this payment down here. Uh, we change the interest rate maybe back, go control Z, which is undo, and you saw that the payment changed back. So. Um, the big idea with the fixed principal amortization schedule is we take the amount of the home loan, or actually the amount of the home, the purchase price, we deduct the down payment, assuming the person can come up with a 10% down payment, so 10% times 500000 they can come up with $50,000 out of their own pocket. So they only need to borrow or finance $450,000 at the 7% fixed rate over a 30-year period. So if we take this 450000 and divide it over 30 years times 12 months, 360 months, you would get the principal payment of 1250 If you go down to the answer section, you'll see that the principal remains the same from period one, month one, and down, down to 360 which is the 30th, uh, at the end of the 30th year. End up. So you see this is a fixed principal amortization schedule. But as you recall, if they have $450,000 outstanding at the beginning of the last month, or at the end of the last month, you have to pay the interest on that $450,000 at 7%, as you can see here. So $450,000 times 7% divided by 12, because you have to get down to a monthly rate, would give interest of 2625 So this payment over here is actually the sum of this fixed principal plus the interest rate for that month. As you notice, as the time goes on, the interest portion reduces. Why? Because the principal balance at the end of the last month is reducing. So that's what you're going to try to accomplish, a fixed principal amortization schedule. I just hit Control Home to go to the very top. And it should look something similar to this when you're all done. And I wish you good luck on it.